Hey there, welcome crafty friends. It's Rhonda with Flowers and More by Rhonda. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome day out there. Thanks so much for stopping by the Christmas on a Dime 2015 YouTube Hop. This is hosted by the lovely D. Armstead of Elegant Embellishments. And I wanted to give a big shout out to her and thank her for letting me be a part of this. Uh, now, the whole goal to this uh, YouTube Hop is to create projects on a dime, either using things from your own stash or things that have been gifted to you. And um, if you had to spend anything, your limit was $20. So I think I pretty much had everything in my stash. Now, I am a crafter who likes to utilize uh what I already have and I like to take unusual things and make you know cool creative things out of them and um so I think that was one reason what really brought my attention to being in this hop and I like to take things and uh you know make something new out of it. So anyways uh let's see before I go any further uh in the hop be sure to subscribe to all the channels and uh, some of them are doing giveaways on their channels as well so be sure to follow along and do what's needed there so you can win yourself some awesome goodies now I like to do of course all my kids are grown and uh, we always used to do crafty cool little things together and when they had projects in school um, we, you know we would work together on them so I have been doing all types of crafts crafts ever since I was probably in about the fourth grade and one of my teachers got me into doing macrame so that's an old technique <laughs> well anyhow um, I guess I got it from my dad too because he was not that he was crafty but he was very good with woodwork so, um, anyway, uh, I have learned a lot from a lot of other crafters, uh, folks that have shared ideas and taken them and, you know, trying to put my own little twist on them. So I've learned from a lot of awesome folks out there, uh, in the craft world. And so this is sort of, you know, for them too. And anyways, this fun little project here, and I've been doing some Christmas bazaars over the last few weeks, and first time I've ever done it. So I was looking for neat little ideas of simple little projects. Well, it just so happens the other day, uh, this cute little project came down my string. And I wish I could take claim to it because it is the cutest, most neatest little idea. And a big shout out and a big big thank you to let me get my paper I want to make sure that I give credit where credit is due on this uh, fireflies and mud pies now her purpose in this project which I thought was the coolest was her uh, child is at the age where they're learning to tie so I thought that was just great you know they're learning to tie they're working together you know and it was called a scrap ribbon tree ornament and you just take any scraps of ribbon you have on hand now who as crafters and designers do not have scrap ribbon I've got like three boxes full of scrap ribbon and just a stick from your front yard okie doke and uh, now she may have suggested this. I did not go back to look. But yesterday, as a matter of fact, someone said, what about a cinnamon stick? And then you've got that nice, wonderful smell when it's hanging on the tree as your Christmas lights heat up the cinnamon stick. And you can smell that through your house. Now, that was another cool idea. So anyhow, you just took your scrapped uh, ribbons and you tie them onto your stick. Now, I love the primitive look. I have nothing primitive, but I do love it. So, I took this 
and um, this is what I did and I just I saved my scrap pieces of burlap and I just tied it on uh, the top so save your little string because they make great little ties for anything and then I've got some little old rusty bells I uh, attached a bell and then as you tie them in knots I mean easy peasy right as you tie them in knots <clears throat> and you, you sort of graduate down uh, your ribbons then you just give it a, you know a nice little shape so then that way you have a tree isn't that the cutest I mean how easy peasy and Christmas on a dime is that not only can you put these on your Christmas trees uh, now if you did do a primitive tree I mean how cool would this be on there right uh, you could put these on packages and um, like I said I made several and they went like hotcakes so and great for teachers I mean you know let the kid make them and they can give them to the teacher so a big huge thank you to fireflies and mud pass for this wonderful idea that she shared because you know the meaning behind it is so much you get to work with your child uh, you know have crafty time with them so and you use up your scrap ribbons they find a new home I just think that's awesome so pick up your sticks out of your front yard and get to town and make you some of these I just think they are absolutely precious so I wanted to share this little idea with you all uh, because Firefies and Mudpies was so generous to share with everyone and I wanted you to see my little take on it and you could also add if you have little stars you could put stars on it I mean there's just so much more you could do to it if you wanted to you know just use things that you have so that's one little project that I wanted to share with my little spin now let me get all this out of the way here just for a second and I'll show you another little project that I did and anyone who knows me also knows that I love vintage anything so I've been putting together these little tags and I've done a few other videos with them uh, for a couple years now and aren't they precious and you could also if you have this have a stamp that says to and from you could put these on gift packages and then they could save them uh, my whole purpose in them was to make them as ornaments now I got these gift tags I bought these from Miriam's crafting supplies moons ago she does not carry these anymore uh, but my whole purpose is when I bought them and the price on them was absolutely awesome now if you have a die cutter you could cut your own um, electronic die cutter like a silhouette you could do your own and who doesn't have tags on hand you know and there you can get them for a little of nothing so what I did uh, with these and again it's a technique that I've used several times and I have other videos of it and this technique I got oh gosh a few years back from the YouTube channel my creative spirit she has some beautiful tags that she's done and uh, but she has taken beauty and uh, I think a jar of that is probably about ten dollars now I already have mine on hand and that was probably the most that you would have to spend if you wanted to make several of these you can make big ones you can make small ones and anyhow I distress my edges using my all-time favorite distressing ink and that is vintage photo and um, what you do is you apply using your Versamark watermark stamp pad you just work it in in various different areas and then you sprinkle the UD on and if no one has ever seen that before or ever worked with this stuff before it is really fun and I have set my bottle somewhere and I cannot find it but um, anyhow you sprinkle that on 
and you shake off the excess and you take a heat gun and heat it up and it just melts and you can see that shiny that's the beauty shining now the one thing she also does with her tags that I did not do with these is she goes back over them with whatever distressing inks that she has used and it just kind of fills in the little cracks and crevices of the beauty that is not adhered to your tag or your cardstock whatever you're using and then uh, these little Christmas images I've had for quite a while and I just reduced them in size uh, using my silhouette cameo which I use that booger a lot <laughs> and I printed them off and I just tore and ripped the edges uh, and then I distressed those as well curled my edges and I adhered them with Mod Podge and then I went all over it with Mod Podge so I could stiffen up these little curled edges and then I just applied what goodies I had in my stash you can do charms, you do flowers, I have beaded trim here and lace and little halfbacks and this one has a little girl this one is a poinsettia and then good old Saint Nick himself and then you just attach your string now these are going to be a gift for someone so I did not want to put the string on because they will be packaged but they're a fun little project to do. Uh, you get to use a couple different little mediums. And you give them a lot of texture. So, all kinds of things from my stash. That's another little fun project that I have done. Now I'll move these aside. And the next thing I want to show you, <clears throat> and these also went really well. Now, if you have, if you've got any type of holiday image and you have a die cutter and you know how to do all that by uploading it into your library and all that kind of stuff, take an image, create it the size that you want. I have created this, the size, now I didn't create the picture, but the size I did to house a gift card and uh, I just thought this was really fun and I flipped it all over and I added all this like so and then I just cut it all out printed it and cut it all out using the uh, silhouette cameo like I said this is this is a little bit more tedious and you know someone who doesn't have a cameo you could probably do it by hand but I recommend you gluing your printed image and then a plain uh, sheet of cardstock to the back uh, but when you go to glue you want to glue it down your front image onto your cardstock but glue it to where you use you know an outline because you want your card to be able to go in and then let it dry and then when you cut it all out uh, you know you'll still have your little pocket for your card to slide in so that this will take probably a little bit more work if you do not have a cameo or a die cutter of some sort I have the silhouette cameo so anyhow uh, like I said I just did my printing did my cutting just glued it distressed my edges and then applied some embellishments and then I created this little card just Merry Christmas and that way it's in there and you can keep this in there when you do your gift giving you know just a little note to tell them Merry Christmas and then you slide the little hat back on ta-da you've already got cardstock on hand uh, you can get images there's a lot of wonderful designers out there who uh, now I've had this forever so I couldn't even tell you where it uh, where I got it and the Pinterest there's a lot of designers who offer free holiday images and then um, I just took my uh, in, in my program on the cameo you know I drew my line to give me my cut and that was it so a little bit more you know tedious work as far as 
you know, arranging and calculating and things like that. But um, everybody just had to fit over these, and I had two different styles. So, you know, a little something they keep. You could also take and uh, punch a hole on the top and add an eyelet. And then they could save that and hang it wherever they wanted to. So, this one was my demo, so it's been a little bit used, you know, handled. But I thought they were fun. And then I just added, you know, some embellishments on for a little bit more texture and dimension. Easy peasy and fun. Now the last thing I want to show you is more of a stocking stuffer or a gift. And I have done these also before. And they're just fun little easy peasy bookmarks. Again, ribbon for my stash. Charms and things like that. And I just made fabric flowers. I have used uh, these fun little rosettes. I've got a boo ton of those. And these fun little centers. And I've just took lace. Different types of trim. Excuse me. And I just did a um, straight stitch with them. Stitched it together. And then hot glued them all together. And then I glued this on. And then I put a backing to secure it all and close, close up everything. Also, just scrap cardstock. And then I added a little charm on this one. And then on this one, I added a slide. And then I just folded over my ends and give it a little hot glue. That was it. So these make fun little pro uh, projects for gift giving. Not so much decorating, but for your gift giving at your holiday season. For a teacher uh, or a reader in the family or friend. And it's a little something from you. And if you have like a little stamp, you know, handmade by, it'd be great to do that. And then they have a little something, you know, to remember who it's from. So there you go. Easy, fun, little inexpensive holiday gifts and treasures or decorations for someone that you love during the holiday season. And that is it for me. Thank you for joining us on the Christmas on a Dime 2015 YouTube Hop. And again, a big thank you to Dee Armstead with Elegant Embellishments for hosting this. And up next is Diana from Spare Marbles 2012. And the complete lineup is down below in the description box. So head on over there. Be sure to comment. In the meantime, I want everyone to have a wonderful day. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And have a very, very Merry Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And until next time, bye-bye.